All right, just waiting for some friends to pop on here. We're doing the iced coffee swirl with the ugh, dispersion colors from CCDIY tonight. And this is a little bit different than my normal place because I'm at Jennifer's. Say hi, Jen. Hi, Jen. Weirdo. Whatever. Uh, but I'm going to have you guys up top from a working viewpoint. So I got to find the Facebook and pull myself up so I can see your guys' comments. Because I'm not assistanting tonight. Because Jennifer's the worst assistant in the world. Ever. I've got stuff to do. She's got stuff to do, which is fine. I don't want to hear myself. Uh, hit the mute button. There we go. Okay, we had the mute button. All right, sweet. Brandy's here. Hi, Brandy. So when people say here, we'll do stuff. So we're going to mix epoxy first. Can assistant, can I please have um, two medicine cups and a white cup? I mean, I really, thank you. And a popsicle stick, please. Do you want a popsicle stick or a silicone stick? Just give me a popsicle stick. I mix so slow, it doesn't matter. So I have a cup here. I'll show you all how it's prepped. Um, it's prepped like this. It's prepped as such. So you want your cup prepped like this. It's just brown spray paint and white spray paint. Just kind of gradient ties it up. Um, so that's going to be your prepped cup. We're going to mix some resin real quick. Mix probably, what would you say for the 16? 20, 20, 25. I mean, it's better to have too much. Go 30. Then not enough. <laughs> We're just going to mix 30 and call it good. Mix about 30 cc's of resin. I'm using a 16 ounce traveler. And I have fear of not enough resin. Uh, or Fono, fear of not enough. <laughs> I do Fono, fear of running out. <laughs> I have Fono. <laughs> Hi, Danielle. Hi, Danielle. Okay. Ugh. And what we're going to use to colorize our resin tonight are these dispersion colors from CCDIY. We've got Snow White, Leather, Mocha, and Rustic Oak. Um, I'm going to mix this resin really quick, and then we're going to put it into individual little thingamajiggers. And these dispersion colors are amazing. <laughs> they are liquid epoxy pigments. And they're the best. Mix, mix, mix. Mix, mix, mix. Mix your resin. <laughs> mix your resin. Do I need a cowbell? No. Good. Just saying. That's Trisha's thing. You don't need a cowbell. What about like a, what's the thing that like, you like spin it like this and it does like the ratchety like woo, 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 sound, that thing. <laughs> Just get a ratchet wrench. Well, I mean, I guess there's that too. So the, um, this, this is not my original, I don't know how to put it. I don't want to say creation. It's not my original technique. I, my father-in-law's calling while I'm trying to be on a live. God. Um, uh, but I saw Christine Cohen Estelon and the craft on group do this. And I was like, yeah, this is amazing. I need to share it with you guys. So here we are sharing it. Just mixing questions. Any questions, comments, anyone have dispersion colors, yeah, questions about dispersion colors. I'm just going to sit here and mix until we're good to go. Brooklyn and Lil P are watching. Oh, Aww, oh yeah, your, my little, buddy. your buddy Peyton. Hi, Peyton. I'm just 
just mixing, mixing away. Hey, babe. I've seen some people do the iced coffee ones with, um, like, alcohol inks, yeah. but I'm afraid to try it with alcohol ink. Yeah, it's just a blooming ink with different browns. I know, but some browns are more, like, on the green side, like espresso oh, yeah. has a green hue to it. <laughs> Janelle's watching. Oh, hey, I have some iced coffee, so I need one of these. <laughs> gonna mix. Just gotta mix this stuff real good. I'm gonna need a heat gun at some point too. Probably a ooh, I'm gonna I'd, I'd probably say or do we have the embossing gun over here? Know what I can make it happen. Yeah, because last time I used the big heat gun, we um, we tripped the breaker, and I don't want to do that again. Oh, it's not plugged in over here anymore. Okay. I mean, it's right there, but it's plugged in. No longer. I mean, the embossing gun should be enough. Brandy says she thinks she wrote down the inks for an iced coffee one. Tiny human. I need a tiny human. I'm tiny. Tiny human. Okay. Okay, Cody's live. Mixing, mixing, mixing. Um, Teenage boys. Stop. I just need yes. one. Find where this goes and unplug it. Okay. Please. Okay. I just dip my, well, crunch my sticks in half. I wish people were a little more, um, I don't know how to put it. this cabinet? A little more excited and interactive tonight. So you're gonna divide all your resin, well, the majority of your resin, into these four containers, and then just like you do with a blooming ink, um, you're also going to need to put a layer of just like a, a carrier layer of resin down. So I'm gonna move you guys to the work view. see what we're working with here kind of wait till I try to get this thing back and right where it needs to be all right we're where we need to be perfect all right I need a glove man hand yep a glove for my man hands you want one or two just get one for now a handful for later I guess so at at this point, I've got resin divided into these little cups. I'm just gonna put a drop, just like a little, the tiniest bit, three drops, really max maybe, of pigment in each one. And just mix those up real nice. This one's still a little translucent, so I'll do an extra drop. And if you don't have any of the dispersion colors, um, get some because they are amazing. Like, that's an understatement. You get really good pigmentation, and I feel like getting really good pigmentation with um, anything else is really difficult. I have a really hard time getting really good pigmentation with pigment powders. can't see where my stuff is. And the great thing about the dispersion colors is that we have them, we have a code for CCDIY. I'll get with Emily and I'll post the code for the dispersion colors 
in the event page because I cannot off the top of my head remember what the code is. And when we put, layer these down, we're going to go darkest to lightest, and we're going to run these up all the way up the cup. They're running a site-wide sale right now. Hold oh, on, okay, thank you. They're running a site-wide sale. Like, I just saw it. And I want this rotating towards me because I'm right-handed. So I'm going to place my carrier layer down. The code is a door. And the code right now is a door for how much? 15% uh, off like the entire site. 15% off the entire site at CCDIY. Code is a door. A-D-O-R-E. And it expires Valentine's Day at midnight. 11.59 p.m. Expires Sunday at midnight. So get on there get you some dispersion colors get you some resin we're also using artist resin from cc diy tonight too and that's a better code than they normally give the groups oh yeah it is because normally the groups is like five percent or something okay so just get that carrier layer on doesn't need to be a super thick layer just needs to be a layer um heat gun please right there in front of you Let's see Embossing gun. Oh, well, give me the torch. I gotta torch this real quick. Thanks, I'm demanding. I'm gonna just torch it to get some movement out of that carrier layer. to pin the code I don't know I don't know she's busy doing Emily. stuff with her family she's busy doing Emily things all right so now I'm gonna put this on this is the one that's the mocha I'm just gonna do swipes of it where I feel like it needs to be that's all I need to do is little swipes here and there make sure you put some up here in the white Doesn't need to be a whole lot up there, but just some. And make sure you get some on the bottom here. And we're gonna go light, lightest to darkest, so now we're gonna go in with rustic oak. And the rustic oak is a little translucent, which is fine. I should have added a little more pigment, but you live and you learn. Now we'll go in with leather, which is this really nice like caramel macchiato color. Or leather color. Uh. Or leather color. I'm trying to keep it like Coffee related. And then go in with my white. Hi, Jordan. Just start adding my whites in. And I forgot to hit the bottom of this with the other one, so we're just gonna Hit them on the bottom real quick. You know what CCDIY product I want, Jen? Hmm. Prime time. I've been hearing a lot of good things about prime time. I want some prime time and some poxy sculpts. Um, poxy sculpts is hella expensive. 
But from what I hear, you just need like a teeny tiny amount. Like to do a gnome, for instance. Like it doesn't sneak near as much as it would like um, regular clay. I want to try it so bad. I want to try it too. Yes, Erica, that's Jennifer you hear in the background. Hey, Erica. Okay, now I'm going to hit this with heat. Heat, heat, heat. We love heat. <laughs> yep. Just going to hit it with some heat. Kind of thin out the resin a little bit. Let everything swirl together. And then when I'm satisfied with how much heat is on here, I'll use the um, the tilt feature on this turner. And the turner is from MH Tumblers and Turners. Um, our good friend Melanie Hayes Parker is on this uh, this page, and you can go to was it mhturners.com, right? Yeah, her, she has a website now. It's mhturners.com to order from her. Now that we're heating up, we're finally getting some movement here. <laughs> okay. So now that I have movement, I'm going to let it spin out just a little bit before I start turning it up and down. This is one of those, one of those cups that you have to do and then just walk away for three hours and let it spin. <laughs> Yeah, you can overdo this real quick and easy. Real easy. So I'm actually going to tilt this up and get some... Ooh, that's real close. Some downward movement real quick. Ooh. So everything will kind of flow towards the top of the cup for a little bit. And then I'm going to move it back. Then I'm going to move it the opposite direction so things move the other way. Like this is truly the best turner for blooming inks or anything that you need swirly movement on. And if you need to, just hit it with your torch to heat it up a little bit. got a lot of movement going up which I'm fine with but now we're gonna move it down and let it do its thing do, do, do. and if you're not satisfied at this point with the swirlage just hit it with some heat and let it swirl for another like 15 minutes because it'll look completely different than it does now in 15 minutes. Because <laughs> that's always the biggest mistake I make with the swirly stuff is I am not patient enough. That too. I like, I just keep the I want the instant gratification. <laughs> this down a little bit more. See if I can get some more lateral movement. I don't think I like how this is turning out. Then some spots where it's dark over here. Um, I'm just going to throw in a little extra white just to kind of coax some movement there. Maybe some extra white up there too. 
Trying to coax some, some more swirlage where I need it. And we've got movement. Everything's kind of moving down a little bit. And then we'll move it back up here in a second. These tilt turners are amazing. And she has a magnetic attachment for the pens now. Oh, I forgot about the pens. All right, so at this point, now that I have enough lateral movement, both up and down, I'm just going to let it spin out and do what it does. And if I don't love it, I'm, I won't love it. But if I love it, that's awesome. This is kind of a trial by error type of cup. And you try to get it right, and sometimes you get it right, and sometimes you don't. It's one of those, like, Jesus take the wheel cups. <laughs> and sometimes Jesus says thanks, but no, you're driving this bus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but that's, um, Carla. Is that alcohol ink on the epoxy or mic or something else? Um, Carla, we used dispersion colors from CC DIY, counterculture DIY, and you can actually purchase these right now on the website at 15% off with the code ADORE at checkout. These are liquid epoxy pigments, and they are the best. You can also use them with um, acrylic paints, too, or your Mod Podge. Oh, oh, the the thing, the epoxy pigments. Uh -huh. Yeah, you can also use it to tint your Mod Podge or to add more vibrancy to your acrylic paints. You're welcome, Carla. Oh, but this guy, even now, here I'm going to turn you guys around. Even now that it's spinning out, what five minutes out, it looks a lot different than it did. So we're just going to let it spin out, and I'll post a picture in about an hour after it's setting. But I'll probably do like a, I'm thinking a metallic gold logo. Ooh, that would be pretty. Do like a Starbucks logo that says like Caffeine Queen or something on it. That would be fun. So that's kind of what we're feeling on it. Um, but I'll post a picture in about an hour after it's spun out a little bit more. Um, but it was pretty simple, pretty easy. Uh, we can do some more stuff with dispersion colors. There's a lot of fun stuff you can do with them. You can do that on straight stainless. Mm, here if you'd like we can do one of these one night too so this was also dispersion color on straight stainless so there's a lot of really good options with dispersion colors thank you for tuning in um it was a quick live super quick not too exciting but we tried something and it's working so we'll take it. <laughs> Isn't that how it goes? Just take the win. Take the win. We're just going to take the win and run with it. Um, just like Tom Brady did. <laughs> but anyhow, thank you for tuning in. Um, I'll be live here again shortly with the February box. Just be on the lookout in the events section. Um, have a great evening. And we'll talk to you guys later.